Hello friends, today in this session, I will be talking about streamline, path line and streak line. At the end of this video, you will get the clear idea about what are streamline, path line and streak line and how they are different from each other. Let us first understand what are streamlines and what do they represent in the fluid domain. Assume a fluid flowing in a three dimensional space with respect to the Cartesian coordinate system defined by usual x, y and z axis. At some fixed instant of time t, let us represent the motion of the fluid particles located at different positions in the domain by their respective velocity vectors. Now connect all these domain points by a continuous line which is tangential to all these velocity vectors and this continuous line is known as a streamline at that particular instant of time t passing through point capital A of the domain. For steady fluid flow, streamline pattern do not change with respect to time whereas that for unsteady flow, streamline pattern changes continuously with that of time and hence Streamline basically is specified at a particular instant of time and is defined as an imaginary line in the fluid domain that is everywhere tangent to the local velocity vectors. Let us consider an example of fluid flowing through a bent pipe. Focusing our attention to one small segment of this bent pipe, it is seen that fluid particles move along the curved path at different velocities. Here you can see that the velocity vectors of few specific fluid particles in the domain at some specific instant of time. It is easily observed that blue lines are tangential to the local velocity vectors of the fluid particles and hence these blue lines are known as streamlines. This is a case of steady flow and hence streamline will remain same at every instant of time. Now let us understand what are path line. Path line shows the path or trajectory followed by a particular fluid particle while moving from one point to the other in the domain. Consider the same three dimensional flow and let a particle named capital A at some instant of time t is located at a position defined by the position vector x a of t. During small interval of time dt, this particle has moved to a new position defined by a position vector x a of t plus dt. So the path followed by a particle a while moving from one point to other point in the time interval dt is defined as the path line corresponding to particle capital A. Let us talk about the same example of a band pipe. Here particle A is moving from point P to a point Q along the red path and hence this red path is known as the path line of particle capital A. Now moving to a streak line, consider some fluid flow in a 3D space. At the current instant of time t, particle A was found to be at this position in the flow field. But this particle has earlier passed through a point capital P in the domain at some earlier instant of time say t minus dta. Similarly, another fluid particle named B is currently here at this location which also have passed through point capital P at some earlier instant of time say t minus dtb. In the same way particle C is currently here and was at point capital P earlier at some time t minus dtc. And same for particle D. Here particles A, B, C and D are currently at different locations but all of them have earlier passed through a common point capital P of the domain at different instant of time. Now the line joining these particles which earlier have passed through some specific point of the domain is known as a streak line. 
and hence streak line is defined as the line joining fluid particles that once have passed through the same fixed point in a space. Again, let us understand the concept of streak line with the same example of fluid flow through the bandpipe. We can see that all these four fluid particles are currently at different positions, but they all have earlier passed through point O of the domain and hence the line joining these particles is known as streak line. We have defined all these three lines using the same example. And if you recall, you will realize that all the three lines, that is a streamline, a path line and a streak line coincides with each other. Why is it so? The answer is, the example that we saw earlier is a case of steady fluid flow, where the flow variables at every point of the domain do not change with time. And in case of a steady fluid flow, all these three lines always coincides. So now, the question is, how do streamline, streak line and path line differs from each other? So let us look at one of the example of unsteady flow and try to understand the difference between them. Here, one can easily make out that the flow field is slowly changing its direction and hence, it is a case of unsteady fluid flow. Here, Gray dashed lines are streamlines as they are tangential to local velocity vector. As the flow is unsteady, streamline pattern will change with respect to time. A red line is a path line of a specific fluid particle which indicates the path followed by a particle while traveling from point O to point P. Blue line is a line joining all the fluid particles that are leaving from point O at different instant of time and hence blue line is a streak line. Fluid particles that are leaving from point capital O will also move along the fluid and hence at every instances of time streak line changes its location. Here we observe that streamline, path line and streak line are different and they are not coinciding. Let us understand this phenomena more rigorously. Initially at time t equal to t0, flow field is totally horizontal and the fluid is moving in horizontal direction. In a similar fashion, flow field at some other instant of time, say t equals to t1, looks like this. At any point on the domain, the local velocity vectors is always tangential to these gray dashed lines and hence these lines are known as streamlines. Here one can observe that the streamline pattern are different at two different instant of time as the flow is unsteady. This is the picture of the same flow field at another instant of time say t equals to t2. You can see that a red particle which was at point O at time t equal to t0 have currently moved to point A following the red path in the domain and hence this red line is known as the path line corresponding to the red particle. In the similar way, one more particle marked in black color was located at point capital O at some earlier instant of time and have currently moved to this point of the domain following the black path and hence, this black line is known as the path line corresponding to the black particle. In the same way, particle pink have moved here and particle green came here. Here, one can observe that the relative positions of all these four particles at the current instant of time is different. But all these particles have earlier passed through point O of the domain and hence, the line joining these four particles is known as streak line corresponding to point O. So, here gray dashed lines are streamlines. Blue line is a streak line corresponding to point O. And red, black, pink and green lines are the path lines corresponding to red, black, pink and green particle respectively.
I hope with this example you got a clear picture about what does streamline, streak line and path line represents and how they are different from each other. In my next lecture I will discuss about the mathematics behind these fluid lines. Thanks for watching this video. You can post all your queries in the comment section below. If you like it, please don't forget to hit the like button. For more such videos, please subscribe our channel.